Hey guys, it's Chrissy with SelfMadeNewbie.com and in this video, I'm gonna go through why there are a lot of chat GPT make money videos out there and why you shouldn't really pay a lot of attention to them. So before we jump in, it really helps out the channel if you drop a like on this video, hit subscribe and turn on that bell if you wanna be updated with more videos. So recently you might have seen a lot of videos out there make money with chat GPT. It's a new thing that's come out. So what the content creators do? Well, they want to create content on it. They want to be first so that they can rank, so they can make Google ad money. Um, and pretty normal, it's what you should expect uh, from content creators. You know, they want to jump on what's new, what's hot, what's trending. Now, similar to a lot of products that I review, what a lot of content creators are going to do is teach you some kind of method that, it, that I call a theoretically sounding method. So lots of products might come out and they might be like, you can make a tonny, ton of money with this. And the reason is because if you create a landing page and you send traffic to it, that landing page is linked to an affiliate product. And if someone clicks your link, you'll get affiliate commissions. And you're like, well, yeah, if someone clicks the link, they get affiliate commissions. If there's a landing page, it looks good if I can send traffic. Yeah, theoretically, that sounds correct. So theoretically, it sounds correct that you can use ChatGPT in order to make money as well. It's the same kind of model. Now, what people are not telling you or what you might not know is that there are some huge limitations to ChatGPT. I'm not saying that you can't use ChatGPT to make money. For example, if you're a programmer, you know, ChatGPT is great for correcting and fixing code. And I'm sure you could probably spin some kind of way, you know, if time is money, if you're saving time with ChatGPT, it's great, you're probably making money from it. You can probably create pretty good ads uh, with ChatGPT. You can probably, there is probably a lot you can do with it. But when it comes to content, when it comes to creating blog content, there's a lot of people out there saying that you can just automate your blog content. Rather than typing out blog content manually, just throw in a topic to ChatGPT and uh, you know, it'll produce content, you just throw it on your blog and you've just saved yourself two, three hours of writing. And that is not true. First of all, a lot goes into creating content that ranks on Google from the keyword research uh, to your on-page SEO to having your off-page SEO sorted as well. If you wanna learn how to do that, I'm just gonna um, throw out my product, Silver Spoon, link in the description if you wanna learn how to do content and affiliate marketing properly. But the point is, a lot goes into creating uh, content. Now, I use AI to write a lot of my blog content, especially if I'm testing out content, right? I'm not gonna spend like hours to write a piece of content to just find out that it's not even ranking of wasted all that time. So treating a blog post like a the lean startup or the idea of the lean sort of doing things as minimal as possible just to test the waters, is Google gonna, gonna rank you? And then if it does, you come back and then you flesh out that content. So I'm using AI for that, but I'm not using ChatGPT because the new Google al algorithm is already detecting AI content and it's ranking people down basically. Now what I'm using is Jasper because Jasper is passing uh, these AI content tests and lots of my content using Jasper is being ranked and I am saving a ton of time. And I just wanna show you really quickly what I mean. So here you can see I'm on ChatGPT and I've said to it, write a small article teaching people about SEO. And you know, I did this before I started recording just so we'd save time. And now I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna put it into an AI checker, a free AI checker that you can find at uh, content at scale. And I'm just gonna throw this in there. And we're gonna click check for AI content. And this is generally what happens with chat GPT content. So you see there, this is all live. It's given it a human content score of 36%, which is horrible. Predictability 21, probability 30, patent 58. Breaks it down over here, possibility. Most of it has basically been detected. 36 is not a good score. Now, I've done the same thing in Jasper. You can see I've typed in the same search word. It's pumped it out here and I've just passed it over here. Although just to be legit, I'll paste it right out of here and we're gonna do the same thing. Now I haven't obviously put it through Grammarly or anything. And you know, this is getting a 78% score, which is good enough. This is still gonna rank 100% on the pattern of the writing. 64 probability, 69 predictability, but this is high enough. Usually, this is actually pretty low. Usually I'm getting over 80, over 90 actually. Uh, but I wanted to keep this live, I wanted to keep it legit. So if you are out there and you have a blog and you're using ChatGPT to throw content in there like I've done here, um, just know that 
if you don't know about this, you're probably doing a lot of hard work in vain, or probably not a lot of hard work if you're just copying and pasting. Uh, but even that, I mean, you're really wasting your time trying to rank content. Now, there have been a couple of videos out there who will be like, okay, we'll go into chat GPT and do like this. I want to write a blog on SEO. Do you understand, right? And you sort of have to warm it up. Okay, so let's try and warm it up. Let's actually do that right now. Uh, write an outline for the post. Do you understand? So a lot of people are creating content around this, like trying to, you know, um, do mental gymnastics around, you know, how you can subtly use ChatGPT to create this unique content. And I'm gonna show you right now that it, even doing it this way, you know, it's not really gonna work. It's not very good yet at creating unique content. So it's given me an outline. So what I saw on one video that went super viral is they just did this and they said, write this section. Okay, so taking it piece by piece. All right, I'm gonna put that in there. Now this is shorter, so it might not, you know, even I was just about to say this is shorter, so because of the length, it might not detect it as being that bad, but it, it has. See, this is live. 42%. And this is what I've, I've been experiencing because you know, I pay for Jasper and you know, I use it every day. It's my favorite, even it's top three favorite tools that I use, especially for blogging, because it does save you loads of time and produce content that does rank. Um, but the reason I want to make this video is that you've got to understand the mindset of content creators who are saying, do this with ChatGPT. Uh, this is some amazing SEO trick you can use with ChatGPT. First, you've got to say, do you understand and warm it up and then create the content. And at the end of the day, these people just want to create content so they'll get clicks and they get people to go off and try it. And then those people will say, well, it doesn't work. And by then they've forgotten about the video. So the video keeps going. Uh, and you just need to put yourself in the mindset of why content creators are jumping on this chat GPT bandwagon. I'm sure it works for a lot of different things, ad copy, things where you don't have to be unique, perhaps it's working for. But for blog posts, no matter how you set it out, it's extremely difficult uh, for you to create content that Google is actually gonna like, as I've shown you with the pre-written thing I did and what I've just shown you live. All right, so if you want to produce AI content that is gonna rank, do use a tool like Jasper. There are other ones out there. I've actually probably got a video about it, which I can leave in the description as well about the ones that I've tried. But even in that video, my best overall one is Jasper. If you wanna use Jasper, there's a link there in the description. I think it does activate a discount as well if you wanna check it out. I think you can also sign up for free and check it out as well. So click that link if you wanna try it. If you are creating a blog and you wanna create content very quickly, do not use ChatGPT, uh, use something that actually works like Jasper, right? Which is giving you the 75% rating. All right, guys, that's all for today. Just something I wanted to spew out. <laughs> if you found value, drop a like, subscribe, questions in the comments. See you next time, take care.